so wait, is it that simple? Okay, little plant, this won't hurt a bit. That freaking simple. All right, so we go this way. We go this way. We go. Waverly here. Haven't seen anything or anyone unusual. Over. Oh, hold, that was close. And then we gotta wait until this guy stops spraying, looking from a different location. And there we go. Awesome. Waverly here. Haven't seen anything or anyone unusual. Over. Cause you're dumb. All right, we are out of there, and we are gone for good. Oh my gosh, that was nerve-wracking. <laughs> All right, so we got everything. Now we need to go to camp quickly and test it. Alrighty, Dighty. What, pray tell, do you have for? There's that weird whispering, whispering again. again. All right, so we go here, we do this, and one of these over here, and we drop the liquid in there. That's the caterpillar frass. So we need to put this in one of those, put that in here, and see if it matches. Uh-oh, the color of the leaf sample from the Healy Healy doesn't match the color of the frass sample. Oh, I guess I better go tell Quigley. Which means we need to do research on what the moths are eating. That's not good. Because if it's not... If it's not the Healy plant, then what are they eating? It's a little worrisome. Because it depends on like what species, what kind of bugs are eating other bugs. Anything can happen. A mixture of any two or any three could either be uh, fatal in like, in like mass producing or fatal as in just killing everything. We don't want either of those two to happen because who knows what could Quickly, happen to the balance. Can I talk to you? I can't come down right now. The wasps I'm observing are doing some kind of dance, and I'm taking notes. What do you want? Whatever those caterpillars have been eating is not what Dr. Craven's been growing at the Healy Healy. The samples didn't match? No. What should I do now? Okay, listen up. Open my pack down there. Okay. Take out the container of canopy samples I've collected and see if one of them matches the frass sample. Got that? Got, Got it. it. Alrighty, Dighty. I actually do know uh, what it is that the moths are eating, but I'm gonna keep that as a surprise until the last one, pretty much. Because normally I would just choose like the one that I actually do know the correct answer is, but I want to show you guys, I'm trying to be really relaxed with this game rather than doing a speed run which I normally do with most of my games <laughs> when I don't need to analyze that <sighs> seriously okay hibiscus ooh I know what a hibiscus is definitely not blue nope could it be the mosquito that doesn't match nope is it the breadfruit? Breadfruit? What the hell? What? Sorry. Not a match. Alright. Uh, what about the kukui leaf? Not nope. a match. What about this? That doesn't match. No. Fritillated flag beetle. A match? So, looks like those caterpillars have been eating fritillated flag beetles, whatever they are. Interesting. What are fritillated flag beetles? Most likely I'll look, up, look it up on uh, Google and put in the picture of it. 
but uh all right so we're about to find out how much time okay oh excuse me Yoo-hoo! Quigley! Have you got something? Yep. Well, it looks to me like those caterpillars have been eating nothing but fritillated flag beetles? Fritillated flag beetles? No. No, that's not possible. I've never even heard of a fritillated flag beetle. The fritillated flag beetle is a relatively minor species in this area. Oh. But if your analysis is correct, that means they're multiplying at an even greater rate than the Norsebana are. The question is, why? <sighs> Fame and fortune just got put on hold, Nancy. Really? We can't go public with this until I figure out what the heck is going on. Where are you going? Up. I do my best thinking when my feet aren't touching the ground. Don't ask me why. Interesting. I've carried you long enough, Nancy. You're on your own. Oh, wait Excuse me? I know what you can do. There's a metal ring inside my pack. I found it at Kapu Cave when I was setting out frog traps. Maybe you can figure out what it's for. Darn things got me stumped. Okay. I'll check it out. Interesting. What the heck? All right, well, this, I guess that means we're going to Kappa Cave. <laughs> I wonder what that ring is. Oh, wait, you know what? I remember there was a hole in the, the monster's face, wasn't there? It was under the nose, I believe. Oh, it's a nose ring. That makes sense. But what is that going to do? I guess the only one way to find out, huh? Nope, not that way. Thank you. A nose ring, of course. Ew, creepy. Whoa, the teeth are moving. I can move his teeth now. But we don't know what it's supposed to be. Alright, well, let's check. Do we have signal in here? Yes, we do. Let's actually call Ned. It's actually been a while since, we, since we've talked to Ned. Hello? Hi, Ned. Hey, how's it going? Remember that creature I mentioned before? What about him? His name's Connie Okala. He's got a very bad temper, and supposedly only comes out when somebody's doing something he doesn't like to his island. This island. And? I don't know. There's all this weird stuff going on with moth larvae and scientists growing who knows what behind closed doors and failing pineapple crops and people hearing strange things in the jungle. Wait a minute. People? As in you? <sighs> I keep hearing this whispering coming from the jungle. Yeah. It comes and goes. Quigley's heard it, and she doesn't know what it is either. Wait a minute. A hot-headed creature that messes with insects and food crops? Maybe. But a hot-headed creature that whispers? I don't think so. Right. When I talked to Frank Hardy, he said that someone had knocked Joe over the head and sent him to the doctors with a concussion. Whoa, that's no way to spend a Hawaiian vacation. He and Frank aren't really vacationing. In fact, Frank said Joe was in the process of snooping when it happened. Sounds like you've been talking to Frank a lot. And to Joe. In fact, he gave me some information that helped me locate Dr. Kim. Do I detect a note of jealousy? Of course. That's <laughs> nice. Unnecessary, but nice. Not to change the subject or anything, but what else has been going on? Nice, real That's smooth. That's it for now. Feel free to call me anytime. Okie dokie. Bye. Okay, now we called Frank and Joe. Seriously, what's going on? Can you help me out with this face? Hello? Hi, Frank. Before I forget, I came across this wall that has this really creepy face on it and all these pictures of animals carved into its teeth. And I'd kind of like to know why it's there. Well, if I come across anything that involves a creepy face with critters on its teeth, I'll give you a call. Great. That's it for now. Talk to you later. These transitions are getting a little bit better. Alright, so let us... I guess we are actually running out of time. But I just want to see... What? Hello? This is Kudo. What do you want? Mostly I want to know why you slugged my brother. 
Assault and battery is a felony. I could make a lot of trouble for you. The guy double-crossed me, okay? We had a deal. I came through, he didn't. So I went looking for a way to even the score. Your brother was in the wrong place at the wrong time, that's all. Pretty much, yeah. Why do you think Mapu double-crossed you like that? You don't know anything about this, do you? Hey, I know all about it. In fact... <laughs> no, wait! Frank! Hello? He Hello? knew all about you it, there? why are you calling him? Shoot. Ma. You can't do that! There we go. Nothing's the matter with me. You've come to my senses, that's all. I'm not gonna let you ruin everything. You hear me? I'm not. Don't do what I tell you. No, I'm not gonna listen to you ever again. So go back there. Pull up! Yikes. Hey Frank, how's Joe doing? He's okay, but he'd feel a lot better if he knew who attacked him like that. Right. I have no idea who that guy was or what he was up to. Nothing like that's ever happened to a guest before, ever. You're not gonna like sue us or anything, are you? Maybe. I mean, we are friends with this girl whose father is a bigwig attorney back home. You're kidding, right? About our friend's dad? No. But about suing you? If my brother sued someone every time he got smacked upside the head, we'd be in court for decades. <laughs> right? That's a relief. That was some argument you and your dad had. You heard us? I think everyone within 10 square miles heard you. My dad can act like such a loser sometimes. So can mine. Well, what did your dad do? Let's talk about something else, okay? Oh uh, boy. I'm not sure how to tell you this, but I have reason to believe your dad is involved in something he shouldn't be. What do you mean? Like what? Like hiding or maybe even fencing stolen property for someone. Why what? Are you telling Look, this? it's a real, real long story and I can't prove anything, so you don't really have to worry. But if he was, say, trying to hide a bunch of stuff for somebody, where do you suppose he'd put it? Oh my gosh, the chamber. That's what he's been doing in there. This island is riddled with lava tubes, <laughs> tunnels made by ancient volcanoes. They go all over the place. My dad knows them all. Lately, he's been spending a lot of time in one of them. He calls it the chamber because it's so big, but he refused to tell me what he's been doing. I was going to sneak down there and see for myself, but the earthquake caused this huge cave-in near the entrance. I can't get past it, but neither can my dad. So whatever he's been keeping down there is still there. There's no other way to get into this chamber thing? Yes, there is. From the water. It says so on this old chart my dad has. Then what are you waiting for? The problem is, you can't just snorkel to the entrance. You have to ride different currents to get there. Huh. The chart supposedly says how to do that, but I've never been able to figure it out. But if you can figure it out, you might be able to find the entrance. But if you do, and it turns out that my dad is doing something illegal, I want you to promise me that you won't call the police without talking to me first. Hmm. I can't do that. Then you don't get the chart. Then again, maybe I can do that. I promise I won't call the police. Say it. I promise I won't call the police unless I talk to you first. Okay? Okay. The chart's in that <sighs> old trunk in the immersion center. I don't like to this. To open it, you'll need to know like what my father all. calls his favorite flavor of shave ice. I can never remember, so you'll have to ask him. Just don't make me sorry I trusted you. So wait. Hey, what's going on? Think I could rent some snorkeling equipment? Long as you've got 30 Big Island bucks, you can. Oops. Guess I'm gonna have to wait. Alright. Need anything else? See you in a bit. Let me know when you want to try surfing again. That's gonna be our next goal in the next video, because we are out of time, everyone. So, I guess the next video- that's also what, what we're also gonna do in the next video is talk to Big Island Mike. Because we need to find out what is going on. So, I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Rescue Rabbit saying goodbye. Stay awesome and stay on YouTube! Brings up the hype! Brings up the hype! Rabbit is going crazy! Rabbit is going crazy and sleepy.